Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dude, daily events worldwide, and we are on December 3rd, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, where we look at space weather, world weather, and disaster alerts. So we're looking here at a small solar flare that the sun ejected yet again, and a filament eruption with it. So this was a small, probably a B-class flare but there was a filament eruption you could see there in the last images. As well, there was a eruption on the northern part of the sun. And this was yesterday or overnight. Looking here at incoming images, a little earth to scale. Our sun has been very active. If you've been paying attention to the morning dew, there's been a lot going on and I've been sharing a lot in the live streams. So please, I encourage you to come check them out. Plasma filaments here dancing all across the southeastern limb. If you're enjoying this content, please don't forget to hit that like button. Please share with your friends and family from around the world. As we are going through these changes together, once in a lifetime event, I hope we are all ready. Looking here at another light, you can see those active regions swirling around. And that one sunspot flashing just a little bit. And again, we have to credit Solar Dynamics Observatory and as well NASA for all of these images that we're able to look at. I mean, it's, it's truly an amazing time to be alive. And I'm grateful for every day and grateful for every one of you. So please stay tuned. We've got a lot to cover in today's show. I love looking at the sun. I'm sorry if this is too much imagery. I'll speed it up. Just let me know in the comment section. But here we're going to look at the Lasco 2 images. It shows the small corona from the CME. A lot of plasma as well. Plasma density will be increasing over the next little while. Looking here at the real-time solar wind as we are steady at about 546 kilometers per second. And looking here at the magnetosphere cut planes. This is the solar wind. And here is the pressure. So this is our magnetosphere folks being affected by 500 kilometer per second solar winds. Not everybody knows this. And it's very interesting stuff to know. Looking here at the Schumann resonance, power of 10, base frequency of 7.83 hertz. I don't know about you, but I felt so energized today. I was fired right up. Let's have a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Been very active, but half of the earthquakes that have happened in the 24 hours have happened here in Nevada. Mean in Nevada over the past 48 hours now we've seen almost a thousand earthquakes over the last seven days this has been a very active region things are definitely bubbling up all shallow earthquakes on the border with California and Nevada right along the Long Valley volcanic field and I've been sharing all of my research recently especially when it comes to the sulfuric emissions that are happening across the West Coast. So something is definitely releasing through the ground. Now we have California fires popping up yet again. Let's move along here. Hawaii earthquakes over the last seven days as well. We're seeing 
a lot of earthquakes all around Kilauea caldera. So stay aware and prepared. Hawaii could see that fill or drain yet again. Nori Jordan, Russia with a 4.7, 4.1 here in Japan. Indian plate here, large 5.2 in Berestagi, Indonesia. At, at 150 kilometer depth, that was earlier today. As well, looking at 4.8 there, 4.3 here, Indonesia, 4.8, Timor, and as well, 4.3, Papua New Guinea, 5.4, Loyalty Islands, shallow, it's kind of a rare shallow earthquake for that region, 5.2 in Villa General Roca, Argentina. 122 kilometer depth. 4.4 Calama, Chile, and as well Peru with a 4.2. Puerto Rico is a shocking today, a shaking and a rocking that continues to swarm. 5.0 here reported in Turkey. That was early this morning during the live stream. Again, I recently share a lot of information on live streams please come in check it out you never know who you're going to meet so many friends and family from around the world 179 countries subscribed again looking here at the last seven days you could see across north america kind of a shallow event happening right now watch through the cascades through the quiet zones deep earthquakes in our regular regions but really I mean, quiet Atlantic Ridge into Cascadia. Juan de Fuca plate line. So please stay aware, prepared, stay ready. There could be something bubbling up underneath and it's gonna boom soon. So stay safe. Let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes erupting. Fuego as well. Popo. Uh, Sangay in Ecuador. Tilica in Nicaragua, that's a new one, 48 hours ago that erupted. Ebico, Kluchevskoy, Raventador, Sabankaya, Swiss and Ajima, Pacaya. So that's 14, about 14 volcanoes being updated just today. Stay safe, stay aware, prepared, and please get this app, Disaster Awareness app. You can be alerted like that as fast as I am to all of the events unfolding around the world, like landslides, Haines, Alaska, winter storms all across Alaska. Now I've been warning the last six days in my dailies and as well my forecast for 400 centimeters and more of snow in two parts of Alaska. Looking here at fires across California. This is just south of all of this activity along the Nevada and California border. Also looking at drought conditions there. Stay safe, stay aware, prepared, because those fires are going to be kicking up some Santa Ana winds here soon. We really don't want those fires to spread. Also observing tropical cyclone Brevi, who was basically a, a tropical a category, uh, tropical, category one tropical storm, which affected India, and that was throughout the day today, but most likely will reform in the Indian Ocean and head towards Yemen. And if you look at all of the alerts recently, many, many floods and storms and fires prayers for humanity thanks everybody for tuning in so much going on let's get to five day forecast brought to you by media worth media mike here is that large pacific low that i was showing a little bit earlier in the video i released the alaska landslide as they've got quite an event that is happening to them right now so thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there over four meters of snow is expected and i warned of this a while ago so there's more to this than meets the eye and watch for things to really really change across the west coast with starting of the new year for sure but right now we've got this weird warm high pressure ridge hanging around here in calgary alberta 
And we had record high temperatures. We got up to 15 degrees Celsius today. That is almost 80, or sorry, uh, almost 75 degrees Fahrenheit. That's very warm for December 3rd. And so it's very strange that these warm temperatures are coming all around the activity across the West Coast, where all the volcanoes are. Let's move east as we have a nor'easter moving up the east coast. We'll be affecting all of the eastern seaboard and right up into the Atlantic provinces of Canada, bringing winter conditions to Quebec. Yet again, they're going to be buried in snow and overlooking Europe here as they have quite a system and systems that will be affecting them for five days straight. Don't look for the sun for at least five days because you're not going to see much of it. Large low pressure moving in from the north and then more organized low pressure systems moving in. Watch for heavy snow, heavy rain along the Mongolian mountains up into Turkey. As well, uh, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, heavy rains. Overlooking Africa, South Africa, watch for heavy rains later in the week. And then across here, in the next five days, across India, Tropical Storm Burevi. And then I don't think they know what's going to happen with this cyclone afterwards, but I think it's going to reform. Looking at tons of rain across the central Pacific. Watching possible cyclone develop there just southwest of Indonesia. Overlooking Australia. Some kind of relief moving into southeastern parts of Victoria and up into Sydney. South America. Daily evaporation rains continue heavier towards the borders of Bolivia and not down into Peru or Brazil, coastal regions, and as well heavy rains in Peru. Going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern. Notice the large low pressure systems very organized. Stay safe, stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun. Get your morning due. Bye bye. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.